This 72-year-old gentleman comes to see you complaining of a lump on his back that he only noticed when it started bleeding a few weeks ago. Have a look at his back. What do you notice? This is a case-based training video. When you see the word think appear on the screen, please press pause on the video to give yourself time to think and consider your answer. So, what did you notice? Don't be just drawn to this large eroded bleeding lesion in the center. Take in all his skin. What I hope you also noticed was the T lane jactasia, which is common on aged sun bleached skin. There's a few tan colored patches suggestive of solar lentigos, which is the skin trying to increase pigment under chronic UV light exposure. He has a white skin color with dappling of white and light pink skin, again, a sign of chronic UV damage. These two other lesions here and here, you did spot them, right? Let's label them up and see what you think of the dermoscopy. This 10 to 12 millimeter diameter lesion has a large central ulcer, which is clearly bleeding. There's a homogenous pink periphery with one area being a slight bluish gray discoloration. There's a few fine vessels here and there and perhaps one large caliber vessel here. For many rapidly growing BCCs, they outgrow their blood supply. And so the surface ulcerates causing the bleeding. This can be seen in this BCC with nodular and infiltrative elements where five weeks later an ulcer has formed. So what do you notice on the dermoscopy of these other two lesions on this gentleman's back? The second lesion was a small pink papule, approximately five millimeters in diameter and very firm. There's a well-focused arborizing network of vessels throughout with a homogenous pink background. There's a hint of some shiny white structures here, but I didn't take a non-polarized picture to show them flashing on and off. Do you notice the little bit of pigment network here at three o'clock, typical for a small adjacent solar lentigo? Lesion three only shows these three erosions with crusts on top on a slight pink homogenous background. Don't let these dermal vessels put you off. They are slightly out of focus because they are in the dermis in their normal location, so not of concern here. So what do you think they are? Well, if you are truly confused, you need to watch this video first on the basics of BCCs to learn the language we are going to be using in this video. This video is called Going Beyond the Basics. What are you going to do with him right now? Here are your options. You can only choose one. How long's a routine referral for your patient? This central lesion is large and it's bleeding. It might be a nodular BCC, but there's a bit of dermal gray blue pigment. Are you sure it's not an ulcerated nodular melanoma? The two smaller lesions on their own routine, I think would be fine and a few months wait would not be the end of the world. But this larger bleeding one, I think needs more urgent care. Can we justify a two week referral? I think probably. Remember, my question was, what would you do right now? Is there anything else you'd like to do before making a referral? Did anyone suggest a full body skin check? Can I make a confession? I've never done a full body skin check in my life, not in 30 years of general practice. Now, the Council of Perfection, if I were taking a dermatological exam, would do, let's do a full skin check. He's probably got three BCCs and there might be more, right? But my spot clinic runs at 10 minute appointment slots. I don't have time and I have already decided to refer him. What other question might you want to ask him? Now I want you to remember these next two words and you'll soon understand why. It's a question I found works really well in this situation. The question is this, anything else to show me? When I asked him, he then rather sheepishly pulled up his left trouser leg and showed me this. No need for a dermoscope here. It had first started 13 years ago as a small little pink papule and slowly grown over the subsequent years. I've checked his notes and he'd seen 14 different clinicians over those 13 years and never once had mentioned this lump on his shin before. He seemed rather embarrassed about it, so I didn't tell him off for not mentioning it before. What is it? And all of these were BCCs. The small one was superficial, the others were nodular, including that one on his shin. Just goes to show you what happens to a BCC if you leave it for 13 years. So what does this patient teach me? BCCs tend to come in flocks, a bit like birds. If you see one, go BCC hunting for more. Sometimes you only get one or two criteria for a BCC in a single lesion, and it's the clinical context and lack of other signs that help us reach a provisional diagnosis. The power of the right question at the right time in unlocking our patient's problems. Anything else? Remember, each BCC is on its own personal growth trajectory. You meet them at a specific moment in their lives, so the signs you see macro and dermoscopically will reflect that. Before we explore more cases, a quick shout out and thank you to Grobble2979 and TPIP2001. Both posted comments on a video which has changed how I make these videos. These videos are made for you, not for me. I'd like your feedback to improve them. And if you click now on the community tab on the channel's homepage, you can vote on whether I should be keeping these word captions in my videos or not.
And TBIP 2001, I hope the dermoscopy course you went on was worth it and that you've come away enthused to keep learning and becoming that primary care dermoscopist you were born to be. Ready for more patients? The district nurse asked you to do a home visit on this 84-year-old gentleman, having noticed this lesion on his ear. He first noticed it a couple of years ago and it isn't painful or bleeding. It looks nasty, doesn't it? It's hard, it's got a rolled edge and ulcerated. It's EFG, or elevated firm and growing. So it needs action. Now, let me see if you've learned anything yet. What would you do right now? I really hope you said, ask another question. And I did. Anything else I said to him. And then he showed me this on his right arm. It's hard, non-tender and nodular. And here's the dermoscopy. It's got some erosions or ulceration, clearly focused arborizing vessels and a white pink background with maybe some shiny white structures. What would you do right now? Let's try that question again. Anything else, sir? And then he showed me his left arm. Here's a tip. Keep going with that question until they say there's nothing else. And secondary care kindly removed these three nodular BCCs from him. This 59-year-old lady presented with an 18-month history of a slow-growing 9 millimeter diameter nodule on her left upper arm. It was firm, not eroded, no bleeding, and she had no skin lesions on questioning anywhere else. What do you make of the demoscopy? It's well demarcated. Lots of blue-grey globules around. But what do you make of the blood vessels? How would you describe them? Some are perhaps hairpin type, some serpentine, but nothing I'd label as a typical arborizing vessel. Some shiny white structures perhaps here. Despite the vessels, I still felt this was a pigmented BCC, but wasn't sure. And the first rule of primary care demoscopy is if in doubt, refer it out. And it was a pigmented nodular BCC. However, like many things in medicine, there's the textbook and then there's real life. Were it to ask you the typical symptoms of an appendicitis, you'd say central abdominal pain shifting to the right iliac fossa, or a heart attack, central chest pain radiating into the left arm, often associated with shortness of breath and nausea. But remember, one in eight heart attacks are silent with no symptoms, and more than 50% of patients with appendicitis have atypical symptoms. Should we expect BCCs to be any different? Understanding that will help you get mastery of demoscopy. This 65 year old lady came with a five centimeter or two inch diameter dry erythematous patch on her left lower shin. There's a long list of possible differential diagnoses. But if I told you that it had been slowly growing for 10 years and didn't itch, that might narrow it down a little bit. Let's see what features we can identify together. It probably doesn't look like any BCC that you've seen before. Look at the vessels. They look more dot-like within a white stroma than anything else. Keep an eye on the white structures which will flash on and off as I switch between polarised and non-polarised light with an iridescence. What's this? You may think this is dirt, but these are very small blue-grey globules. Note the changes as I switch from polarised to non-polarised light. And this looks like a small erosion. This was a superficial and nodular BCC on biopsy. The main message I want to convey to you about BCCs is that while 9 out of 10 BCCs will have classic dermoscopic signs and symptoms, there is a rogue element that will push you diagnostically. And now please go to the community page and record your vote on the poll whether or not I should keep the subtitles on these videos. And until next week, nanu nanu. Training a primary care dermoscopist for every general practice.